Hello, I'm Kerry Newell and I'm here with one of the country's finest chocolatiers, Paul Young. Hi there, how are you doing? I'm fine, thank good, you. Good. And you're going to clear up today about some of the myths and truths about chocolate. I so am. I want to ask you something straight away. Okay. Does chocolate give you spots? So I can clear it up with my mum and dad for when I was a teenager. Go on. Fine chocolate doesn't. So confectionery, all what I call, you know, supermarket junk food chocolate. Yep. All the things that are very cheap, full of fat and sugar, that will kind of make you feel bad. You will gain weight. Your skin won't be in good condition. Sure. But if you're eating a small amount or you know, a generous amount of fine chocolate every day, even and is that because that it's natural? Spots. Yeah, absolutely. So you're absolutely fine to eat some See, every day. See, Mum, I told you. I did <laughs> tell you it wasn't giving me choc um, spots, but that's because it was confectionery chocolate. Yeah, so I was probably but... eating, so it probably did. And what other things? Why do men buy women chocolates? It's really interesting. When, when we first opened the shop, we thought, right, it's going to be all women coming through the door. Yeah. But the war, it, initially, there weren't that many men, unless it was Valentine's Day or a birthday or an anniversary. But yeah. that's changing. So men literally saw it as, as a gift for other people, well, yeah. for their partners, for their mums, yeah. sisters. But for themselves, they weren't buying it. Yeah. So the big myth now is men don't buy chocolate. They do. They do. They're loving robust flavours, you know, cedar wood we've put in the chocolate, chilli, strong yeah. flavours, things that are a bit more uh, robust than lavender creams and violet creams, which we <laughs> yeah. don't do. Yeah. So it's changing. I know, changing. because it seems like women like chocolate a lot more than men. I think is it is... because of their hormones? I think like men so. would blame it on, so they go and buy some chocolate for I think for them. so, but men, women are, are more, you know, Beneficially wise, they can see why it's good for them. They yeah. can see that sitting down and relaxing a piece of chocolate is good for them because it makes them feel better just by relaxing. As men eat it on the go, it's yeah. pretty much on the go. And does chocolate give you a buzz? Because it gives me a buzz, it, it makes does. me feel happy. Is it a bit of like a drug? Well, it is addictive. There is a common myth that it contains lots of caffeine. Yeah. It doesn't. It contains a natural chemical called theobromine. Yeah. Now, this re releases endorphins into the brain and dopamine, which is the same chemical as when you fall, feeling as when you fall in love yeah. or having okay. a couple of glasses of wine. So having a few squares, 25 to 40 grams a day, will Ooh. actually <laughs> act as a natural antidepressant. It keeps yeah. you topped up and makes you feel good. It does also help reduce your LDL cholesterol. Oh. Okay. And helps reduce the so risk actually, of heart disease. So chocolate can actually be good for you as well. But only high percentage, seventy to eighty-five or eight to one hundred percent cocoa solids. Yeah. Not so the would that include the milk chocolate and no. the white chocolate? So only the dark chocolate. Not. Milk and white can still be good, but it's got lots of sugar. Okay. So the health benefits come from the high percentages co of cocoa. Is there any other health benefits that you get from chocolate? Um, Apart from making you feel good, yeah. it actually is an appetite suppressant. So you only you eat less of it. So when you eat at a confectionery bar, you can eat the whole lot in one go and yeah. feel yeah this big sugar rush, rush, and then you need to have something another bar. <laughs> With this, you have two or three pieces, and yeah. that will fill your palate for up to half an hour. For, for, from each piece yeah. with the flavours and taste, so you eat less of it and you're not likely to go and pick on junk food. Yeah, and also they say that it's actually better than a passionate kiss and it lasts like four or five times it's longer. It's true, yeah. Well, the Aztecs and Olmec Indians, especially Emperor Montezuma, they saw it as an aphrodisiac so they yeah. drank so much of it in a cold form. If you have enough of it, it is seen as a romantic gesture. It's Valentine's Day, uh, yeah. roses and chocolates. So there is a connection between chocolate but being passionate, sexy, provocative. Mm. And I think that encompasses the whole thing. And women are more, um, you know, they pick that up easier than men, I think. Yeah. So that's I don't why think we're complaining. Like... <laughs> no, <laughs> not no, absolutely not. Is there anything you'd like to tell us about chocolate or clear up any myths or tell us any truths that are really good about chocolate? The truth is chocolate can be good for you. And I say this all the time to all my customers. Don't come in and apologise and say, no, I'm on a diet, I can't have a piece of chocolate. Yeah. Or don't feel guilty. On the continent, the French especially, they eat chocolate every day. They love it and they see it as a part of their diet. diet. Okay. Come in, enjoy your piece of chocolate. Do not feel guilty. It is a myth that all chocolate is bad for you. It isn't. And it's not. It isn't. Okay. I've said it first. It's here. It's not <laughs> bad for you. Isn't it's you not eat? bad for you, I'm telling you. It I don't mind. It is, but <laughs> enjoy your dark chocolate and you will feel the benefits, I promise. Okay, thank you, Paul. You're welcome. I'm going to take that on board. Chocolate isn't bad for you. So thank you very much. You're and welcome. we'll see you very soon.